right, we're checking out the only game where people customizing their cars just customizes my pain. It's GTA. So we got sent more custom GTA cars to torture, and so Alex decided to torture me with one of his challenges. Because SpongeBob is SB, Alex decided to put me against speed bumps. So now I have to take these janky, jacked up SpongeBob cars and find out which one can legitimately make it through a ridiculous Alex speed bump course. As you can imagine, Alex's speed bumps are designed specifically to destroy a human being. So we'll see if I'm still in one piece by the time this is over. Let's do this. That is the face of a killer. Right there. I don't even know what to say at this point. How do I even see where I'm going with this? It's like driving with a six foot tall cucumber in the middle of my F1 car. Speed bumps, speed bumps. Alex has completely run out of descriptors. <laughs> I love it at this point. Oh, they're, they're, you're right. It literally is just speed bumps leading to more speed bumps. So I guess the idea here is you have to get past the speed bumps, but they slow you down. So the only way to do this is to like try and pop your hydraulics right before the, oh, you put explosives down here. Mm, burning alive. I see. Well, let me go ahead and get out. Oh, just in time. That was, that right there was a 90s action film starring Sylvester Stallone. Right out of the way before the car exploded. Well, I can't say I knew you for very long. You'll be missed. I'm just kidding. We're not gonna let him go down like that. Never mind. Maybe we are. Oh, it's your twin. The fact that I have plankton growing out of my hood is it's concerning. It's really concerning and scary at the same time. Okay, the the speed bumps, speed bumps are starting to get legit. Uh, okay. We're still doing good though. They're they're getting spit. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, they get spaced more out the higher you go. I can save this. This is, no, actually, can I cheat this? Hold on. <laughs> if you see me back at this point, the answer was no, I could not, come on! I could not cheat this. Hold on, ready? Watch this. What? Bam. It's a hundred times easier to do that speed bump backwards than it is forwards. Oh, are you? I just lost all of my speed. Are you ready? Come on, go, 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 get over to the top. And then we're gonna be just, no, <laughs> come on. How come your giant head couldn't at least catch on one of the speed bumps? One time. And now, yes, yeah, stay up there. As long as we don't come down nose first, I knew we could get past the second challenge. Well, I guess that's the third challenge. Timber speed bumps. Oh, we're going, uh, we're going all natural on these speed bumps. Whoa, <laughs> that bird almost, that bird almost like killed himself on Plankton's head. I don't have a lot of lift on the front scoop of the vehicle here uh, at all. Like, I don't even know if the hydraulics will get me over this. The only thing I'm doing is stabbing the wood. That is, oh, oh, hold on, we're kind of there. I'm, I'm bending the car in half. I was literally bending the car. Yeah! All right, oh, th these, these logs have tree friends. That's nice. Vegan option logs, go! Ugh. All right, let's try Hold on, let me get it a little bit more. Go! Whiplash! I love it. So the car's still in one piece. That is a good sign for... I shouldn't have said anything. What? I thought I just saw some bolts fly off the front of the car. This is odd. So is it better that I got rid of the shroud, or is it? Is it not... Oh, oh wow. I legit did not think I was even going to get halfway up this. I didn't think I was going to get past the original incline. All right, a little bit better of a pop. There we go. Go sideways. That's how you do it. Remember when I said that's how you do it? <sighs> yeah, I was wrong. Uh, this thing does not have enough traction to get up the speed bump. It's fine. We're going to go in order. I'm going to test all of them. You gave them to me. Might as well try them. Sandy. Yep. It sure is. And it's also very, very cursed. The weird thing about this is that my color scheme actually fits this. <laughs> like my color scheme and her color scheme. <laughs> All right, we're missing a lot of glass, but this is doing great. Oh yeah, right past the F1 plankton. All right, so now the trees are getting camouflaged. So now I'm not supposed to see them as well, I, I, I guess. No joke, I cannot believe that this car is doing so well on these. Like it's so low to the ground that the tire shouldn't be getting the wood at all. Is that a human? Is that a human's body stuck under there? Is that supposed to be there? Alex, there's a human under here. I'm just gonna leave him there. Kinda looks like he's 
hidden behind the bushes or something. Look at this! Oh! Speed is always the way! Come on! Come on! You can do it! Oh! Oh! We're, we're running out of traction! Just gotta wiggle it! Just gotta wiggle it! I'm wiggling it sideways! I'm falling off the back! <laughs> I don't want to go! I don't want to have to do this all over again. Alright, new plan. We're gonna come at this. Yeah, I was gonna say in the center, but I guess that wood piece in the center is real. I thought maybe it was uh, just a prop that didn't exist. So, I have been running over this dead man for a while now. Um, besides the fact that he gets to live with the fact that he got run over by Sandy for the last 30 minutes, I cannot get up this, this speed bump with this thing. There's no way. I didn't think things could get more cursed. I was wrong. I think the best part about this car is if you had to murder someone with it, Patrick would guard the windshield from all of their body pieces. Put an engine in this, didn't you? Ah! All right, don't worry. We've got friends now. They willingly came along for the challenge. Backwards, first try. I'm, I think I'm just gonna do that part backwards forever from now on. I got bad news. The guy that was coming with me decided to bail out. <laughs> I got a second piece of bad news. I just murdered a bird. Um, I feel really bad about that. It's not a day with Gray until he kills an endangered species! God! The front grill on this thing combined with... Hold on. Oh, I, maybe I spoke too soon. Never mind! Perfect! I was gonna say, the front grill on this thing is just ruining my entire day. How come that bird didn't... I mean, uh, I'm so glad that bird did not die when it got struck by the car. No one has made it past the next set of logs. Can this finally be the one? Because we are nowhere near done with the speed bump challenge, and I will have already gone through a lot of cars. Climb the wood, Patrick. Climb it. Come on, baby. This is fine. Have you ever tried wanting it more, Patrick? Oh, he's at the top. Okay, we're at the top. Now I basically just have to jump to my death. Come on, there we go. Lean, no, lean, no, lean, come on. There we go. First car to clear the wood. Drinks on me, speed bumps. Oh, what is this? How do you even get past this? Never mind, it was so easy. I thought I was gonna get stuck in the middle of the two drink tops for the next 25 minutes. Remember this phrase. If Alex is buying, you're dying. Come on. I can't believe that this is harder than the two slurpy tops. Like it doesn't look like it should be harder. There we go. Well, the problem is we're also only rear wheel drive and the wheels are smooth. So that's not really helping either. If we get a nice pop and then we jump it, then we're good. I don't, did you see it? Do you see it on the right? <laughs> there was a deer that just went flying through the air. I was gonna say, I don't know if you guys can see it, but every once in a while, a deer just sits chilling out at the end of the beer bottle that's coming up next. Come on, pump it. There goes a deer again. Look at the distance. <laughs> All right, one trillion IQ. We're gonna do this backwards. Since this thing's rear wheel drive, now I have the wheels catching. Oh, that didn't work at all. I'll see, maybe saying yourself. Gray, is that a lot of blood in the grill of the vehicle? No. What you don't know is Patrick's truck actually uses apricot jam as a way to cool the engine. Well, there's the main character. It's gotta make it through the entire course, right? First try going forward on the speed bumps, no problem. Oh, I forgot what driving a real car was like. Look at the height. Look at, well, there goes the hood. Look at the distance. I still have the bob though, so it's fine. SpongeBob speed bumps. He was made for this. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh, we're running it now. Look at the distance. Back door opens up. Luckily, my wife or something isn't chilling out in the back seat or my groceries because they would have murdered whoever. Why do the doors keep opening up? All right, drinks on me, speed bumps. We made it super fast here. Bam. Oh, no. Come on. Sticks the landing. Like I said, though, getting to this point is nothing. This is super easy. All right, let's try this a little slower. 
so we don't, you know, get flung off. I still want to know what's going on with that deer. I'm not happy now unless I find out. By the way, SpongeBob is, yep, 100% getting past this brunk. Okay, hold on. All right, so what, what happens here? I'm not... I'm not going crazy. I know I saw something. It's not there. Okay, hold on. Here, here, here. Yeah. You're gonna make a liar out of me? What is going on? <laughs> Why does the deer just get bodied? I love that a deer can fall something like 30 stories and not die. I've been I've been just like entranced by the fact that Alex took time to make this. And yeah, now I wanna know what 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 in the? What is going on? Jess, welcome to another challenge on the channel. Come on, here we go. This is what happens when four wheels work together. <laughs> okay, so now we have a bottle, but it's rotating backwards. Okay, so that's new and exciting. Also, is that a person riding another person's neck in the background? Ooh. Oh, both of my doors. That's all right, you know what we call that? Free air conditioning. Come on. Eww. Hmm. This is a little bit more infuriating than I thought it would be. You need a lot of speed in order to outrun the rotation of the speed bump. I would tell you kids to remember to drink plenty of water. But I'm starting to hate water. Get over it. Yeah. No. No. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> that almost... <laughs> That almost got me, I'm not gonna lie. Fine marble speed bumps. What are we talking about? Like, uh, like flooring? Okay. These, like, really expensive speed bumps? That's not too bad. Yeah, it's like someone ripped up the dining room floor of Bill Gates' house and just, like, turned it into a challenge for me or something. That's a really big, fine piece of marble. Yep, there goes the hood again. Someone's gonna end up getting murdered by that hood. Oh, there goes my grill. Actually, that was just the bumper. I still have the grill, which is great. Because if I didn't have the grill, I wouldn't be able to catch random birds in it. All right, Alex, your expensive marble problems are starting to get kind of legit. Here we go, yeah! See? Titans speed bumps. I love how the one Titan all the way in the background there is I don't know what he's doing He's like talking on a megaphone or something. He's like this is how we do it Okay, so I guess you just go over the neck or maybe like the lower back Am I supposed to be giving these Titans a massage? Because I feel like all I'm doing is just giving this Titan a massage Like I should be charging this Titan for what's happening right now. Yeah, here, let me get let me get the upper back too. That'll be $35. Okay, so now we have the Titans. Oh, this is legit. So this is an interesting problem. The Titan's arm is karate chopping the roadway. And so there's an incline like facing me. So I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get over that with this, even with hydraulics. The answer is always to run into it as hard as possible. Go! Ow! I said go! I got good news and I got bad news. Uh, the good news is that SpongeBob's still alive. The bad news is that I'm pretty sure I just broke the radiator. Okay, the car is starting to backfire now. That's not good. Oh, the engine's dying. The engine just died. The engine is totally dead. <laughs> I killed the car! Your SpongeBob has durability issues. Come on, man. You may say to yourself, Greg, what are you doing? I'm trying to get this thing out of the middle of the roadway so I can test the other cars. Well, this is hideous. I think the thing that concerns me is how legit Pearl looks. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, 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 hold on. Hold on, kind of heavy on the back end there. That sounds so bad. Come on, wiggle it. Wig, there you go. I love how there's a case of ammunition just chilling out in the back too. Look at this, you can do this super slow and because the base is so wide, this thing can get past those like slowly elongating speed bumps with no issues. Now these ones, I don't know why, but this car gets fantastic frontward lean. Look at this. You would think that that front grill, the tow hook, would catch on stuff. Not at all. This is easy. This is easy street right here. This might be the best car at this point that I've seen. I don't know. Wow. Look at how it glitches. <laughs> Look at how it totally inappropriately glitches its way up the wood. If there's one thing I love about custom cars, it's the sheer level of jank. No problem. One time. Right up top. Drinks on me, speed bumps. Again, the biggest part about this would be me flying up. Ooh. 
Oh, the front end is really wide. I think I might actually have to like pick a drink. Like go on the left one here. You know what I mean? Her head keeps catching on the straw. Come on, baby. All right, we're gonna try and cheat this. We're gonna try and go around this. This is probably not the best car to try and do this in because of how wide it is, but I think we can do this. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh no! Oh yeah, Squidward's like a tank. Look at the armor. And I can see where I'm going. It's like the first time in testing all of these vehicles. So technically this would be this would get my win right now for the best vehicle because I can actually see to drive. It's not fast, but it definitely has power. All right, we got a serious issue here on the wood. The lack of power and its sheer weight means I can't bounce the front of this thing high enough. So when I try and scale the wood, I lose all my forward momentum. Come on, Squidward. Use your tentacles. There you go, baby. Come on. You're there. You're there. You can do it. You got this. Positive self-talk. Never mind. You've disappointed me. You've disappointed your family. And now you can die alone. Ow. Oh. Wow. Huh. Well, I guess he got the last laugh. That was karma, I suppose. I'm not gonna lie. This looks like a winner. The question is, Greg, can you see... The answer is no, not at all. Absolutely not. Doesn't matter though. What I lack in driving ability, I make up for in tire dimensions. Oh, I love wood. Yes. Look at it get totally owned. Crab stone tires. Boop. One time. What is gonna possibly stop this car? By the way, watch, hold on. <laughs> launching, launching deer. <laughs> what is gonna possibly stop this car? I did not think I would have as much trouble as I did with the rotating bottle of water. It was not easy. Marble, all the marble is going to be done first shot. I can tell you right now, because the front tires of this thing have tons of grip on this, on this surface. It's amazing. Remember how I thought I knew what I was talking about? I did not. The engine's starting to go. I am stuck right now in such an amazingly awkward position. There exists one last hero. One lobster who could possibly pull through. I'm not gonna lie, I love the tires on this thing. The tires look like little murder wheels of death. Ooh. Speed bumps, no problem. Wood, no problem. All right, slight, slight problem. Hold on, minor problem. No problem, <laughs> there we go. Shotgun deer, no problem. <laughs> Um, fine marble! I love it! Hey. Hey, Mr. Krabs. Sorry, brother. There can be only one piece of seafood that wins. All right, first try. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, huh. Look who's over here. I haven't seen SpongeBob in a while. Apparently, he was burning alive the whole time we were testing the rest of the vehicles. <laughs> you have to go. You have to go over the groin of the Titan. Is that is that what's happening here? Is this the speed bump? This is a, <laughs> this is an elaborate setup you've made here, Alex. <laughs> okay, so you have to kind of like come down the shoulder because you don't want to. You don't. If you flip off to the right, you're probably gonna roll. And if you flip off to the left, you're gonna you're gonna go right off the entire the entire board. So you have to kind of like go just to the shoulder and then cant to the left. There we go, perfect. So now we have the double passed out Titans. So we're gonna go over to the first head and there's a large gap there. Can I bounce from one head to the other? No. The good part is thanks to the tires on this thing, I can pull my way up backwards. So, I've, I've, I've got myself in a real problem here. I fell sideways and now I can't get my tires onto either of the heads to pull myself back up. Okay, I've been at this for a while. I have a plan. We're doing this. Oh my God! Yes! I was not starting from the beginning. I cannot believe that, the, that Larry made the jump. Okay, so, uh... I have to jump probably on the shoulder blades. God, this is such a weird speed bump scenario to go through. So we're gonna jump off the head, onto the head, onto the shoulder blades, there we go. Oh, thank you God. Thank you God for allowing this to work just one time. Noob, pro legend speed bumps. Ah, thumbnail bumps. I like it. So first, 
we have- Oh, wow, you- you really designed these in the most eye-violating way, didn't you? I love cataracts! Noob! Okay. Pro! Okay, not that bad. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Legend! Uh, don't you lose it. Don't you lose it. Wow, how do you get past this? Like, legit, how do you actually go, go over this? All right, I'm gonna try maximum speed and... Come on. No, you lose traction. There's no way. Okay, we got a problem. The vehicle has... The vehicle's starting to take a lot of damage. Oh! <laughs> It got it sideways, I can't believe it! The vehicle's about to quit on me! Ugh, please finish this course till the end. Just finish it with no- We're not trading away! Are you kidding me? I wanna die. Right now. Okay. I have an idea, just trust me on this. If you think, for one second, that I'm going back to the beginning, you should have moved this hump a couple of meters over. Yeah! Hey! Stop shooting each other on my board! Uh. That was a good throw. Oh, a little more distance. Anyway, since you trolled me, that means that we have a winner! Well, I tested speed bumps, and apparently the answer is always lobster. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.